What's up guys, I'm back once again with yet another video. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to install Android 4.4 KitKat onto a laptop or a desktop PC. So um, let's just get right into it. So to begin, what you want to do is download two files. You want to download the Android x86 4.4 KitKat file and the Rufus 2.2 USB uh, writer file, I guess. Um, I'll be leaving a link in the description for both of these files. Um, they're both free, so you don't have to worry about that. So um, what you want to do first is launch the Rufus program and uh, insert a USB into your computer. So um, once this loads up, it'll ask you uh, for maybe an update or something. Uh, just click no, you don't really need to update it because you're probably only going to use it once. But um, you yeah, basically just uh, click no and uh, wait for it to pop up. So you'll be granted with this screen here and uh, you just want to select your USB. So uh, just make sure you select the right one because this could format any other drives on your computer. So um, now what you want to do is uh, just make sure the files seem the um, settings seem correct and uh, choose your ISO that you downloaded earlier so just uh, look for the Android x86 4.4 KitKat uh, file it should be in a like you know WinRAR file like that just select that and uh, yeah so if you have WinRAR then it will probably will look like that if not it may be like a uh, a piece of paper with a disk on it so um, yeah just uh, click start uh, click OK um, it's just warning you that this can format um, the other drives that you don't want to if you don't select the correct USB but um, this will uh, start you know saving it onto your USB and uh, I'll be back once that's done so now once this file has uh, finally installed to your USB you just want to um, click the little arrow at the bottom and click eject so um, you just want to do this to make sure um, none of the files get corrupted as you pull it out so um, yeah once you do that uh, you want to get your PC and uh, yeah so now once you've ejected your USB you just want to get your computer and get your USB and insert it into the computer so um, as you can see I'm just doing that here and uh, just open it up and uh, turn it on so um, you don't really need a high-end laptop to run Android. Um, this is just like a Toshiba Intel Atom 2 gigs of RAM laptop. But uh, it's not that much, but it should get the job done. So um, once you turn it on, you want to find your uh, boot menu. And uh, mine in that case was F12. And uh, you just want to select the USB you need to boot into. So uh, mine's the Toshiba uh, USB 8 gigabyte. So I uh, just select that one there. And I uh, just hit enter. And uh, once that loads um, just trying to get into focus so yeah just click enter and uh, once that loads you'll be put into a Android x86 installation uh, CD uh, thing so um, basically you just want to use your arrow keys to go down to the bottom to install it to your hard drive um, you can install it like you can run it off your USB but uh, I wouldn't recommend doing that and uh, this should uh, just load up some scripts uh, this takes a while once you've loaded it up you'll get into this screen and basically you just want to select the hard drive you want to install Android to so I chose the NTFS uh, HDD I uh, just want to make sure you choose the right one you want to select yes on on the first uh, thing they ask it's about the boot manager kind of thing and uh, here you just want to select no so um, once that's done it will begin to write and uh, yeah so once the files are written to your device, you'll be basically put onto the basic Android startup screen. Uh, it's not really a startup screen, but basically the um, setup screen. So uh, basically, uh, it's just going to ask you for your Wi-Fi um, and maybe your like your details, like your, who the tablet belongs to or computer, whatever you want to call it, and uh, you know all like the Google uh, accounts and all that. But uh, basically, once you've entered all that in, you'll be basically put onto the normal Android startup screen. So um, it's pretty cool. Um, this is actually the first time I've tried this, so everything I've done so far is actually like the first uh, like encounters of problems and all that kind of stuff. So um, at the start, you just have to click OK on some of the prompts, and uh, yeah, let's just uh, start up YouTube and see how it works. So um, it is quite laggy on this laptop if you play in HD, but if you play in standard definition, you actually can watch YouTube videos pretty well. So uh, you know, just select your YouTube and uh, you know, just log into it and uh, you know, search up a video. So as you can see, I have a video loaded up right now, and uh, it plays pretty smoothly. So uh, you know, that's pretty much it for this video. 
Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to install Android 4.4 KitKat onto your computer. And uh, if you did like this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and uh, thanks for watching.